Hi and welcome to Vox Singing Academy's video podcast. This is episode two. Welcome back, Em. How's your week been? Hi, Peter. Super awesome. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Guys, if you love this segment or even like it, just like it. Subscribe to the channel as well too. If you have any questions regarding singing, because this podcast is all about singing, anything yep. to do with singing, vocalizing, songwriting, performing. If you have any questions regarding singing, please put it in the comments below. And if we pick out your question, we are gonna name you and we are going to give you a free lesson as well too. We're gonna to give you a segment around your question. That's pretty exciting. Let's get stuck in today's segment, and we're going to leave off from what we left off from last week, which is yep. social media for singers, especially more so up-and-coming young yep. singers as, as well, too. Um, so I think I'll lead off with this, and then you can jump in if you want. <laughs> it's so important now, social media yep. for singers. And it's such a great avenue. Now, I don't know exactly how old Joe, you've been working for me for a long time, but I know that when I started off in the music industry, it was, I think it's so much easier for the performers today to get exposure and to get out there, more so than when I was recording, we had yeah. a little four track test cam, mm -hmm. little cassette, four tracks, and we thought with the Rolex, I used to bounce the four tracks on the one and then you yeah. had another three tracks yeah. and those first three yeah. tracks would diminish. We used to send it off to record companies. Yeah. Um, and know, if your drum track is messed up and you have already bounced it onto one track, there's nothing you oh, can so, do. It was, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was, it was, but back then, do you know what I mean? It, that was amazing technology for yeah. us. You know, the, four, the test cam four track was amazing. And you didn't have many other avenues besides it, besides playing live and setting it to radio, uh, radio around here once you'd recorded. Um, there wasn't many other avenues uh, back in the in the seventies and, and eighties. But now, anyone can be anywhere at any time. That's, that's what such a great. It's a, such a great avenue for everyone to, to be in. But we're also going to talk about about the people that are the dislikers or the haters and people that bag people out as well too just to just to work through that the, the psychological part of that as well too because i know a lot of people with their you know i suppose their their self-esteem or the ego or the pride will, will, will get dinted when people don't like something or have a negative comment i don't have any i don't care what people say or do as, as you know but a lot of people a lot of young kids out there do as well too so mm -hmm. what where, where do you think firstly with 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 students these days everyone's got to have a YouTube channel they've got to have a really yep. good YouTube channel you've got to be posting your recordings good quality recordings it doesn't need to be recorded in, in great surroundings but at least make sure that we're not singing completely out of key yep. and sounding silly uh, but posting whatever you possibly can on YouTube whenever you can because this is really how Justin Bieber got discovered He came th I think he came third in the singing competition got posted and whoever who discovered him Jay-Z Not a clue. I don't know. Someone some huge geez, I'm glad that we researched this <laughs> but, that, but that is a true story though. That, that, is, that, that is a true story. So that, yep. that is a true. That's how Justin Bieber got was discovered Usher? Was it Usher? Usher I think it was Usher um, seen him, kid can sing, good looking, bang, blew up. That mm -hmm. was that was that. Just from posting something on YouTube, so you never know who's going to see it because all of the record companies now these days as well too, guys. This is very important. You don't have the traditional AR guy that I used to deal with in the seventies and eighties, mm -hmm. where they'd be pl pl plowing through your cassettes or CDs that were listening to the hit song. Now they've got teams of people that sit behind computer screens trolling the internet, SoundCloud, YouTube, listening for the next big person to, to that's what the record companies are doing now. They don't have AR guys, they have people that are sitting there listening and, and, and seeing the new track or, or the next big singer that could be out there. So it's a, it's a great way to promote yourself and if you're not doing it, even in the beginner stage of your career, I think you're doing yourself a grave misjustice because you can even see Ed, you can see Ed Sheeran when he first started, when he was 
I think an, a young teenager, from, you know, 12 or 13, performing acoustically, busking. He, he wasn't great back then, mm -hmm. and he's improved immensely. So it's, it's great that people also see that growth as well. Yeah. So not only do people see it, you can record, see it to yourself. Record, yes, you want to see it. So record companies are going to see that as well mm -hmm. too, as well. So I think it's vitally important that everyone has one a YouTube channel, um, and they're putting content on the YouTube channel that people will be interested in, mm -hmm. in watching or listening, even if it's to do with songwriting, coming to your singing lessons, but mainly of you singing songs, whether that be cover songs, your original songs. Even if you've just written a verse and a chorus, you just started writing a verse and a chorus of a song, put it up there because it might morph into something else. That might be a hit later on. And this, that particular video is going to get millions of hits later on once they say, well, this is where it's come from. And I've, I've seen videos like that from other people, from other people I've seen on YouTube that have had an interview with someone before they were famous and then bang, now they're, it's getting millions of hits. And that person that interviewed them, uh, is famous from that. Gary Vee does that a lot. He interviews a lot of people and then they become famous and now all these, he's getting all these, all the publicity f from it. Same, same with the other person. Just a plug for Gary, v uh, Gary Vee there as well. Too. Yeah, Gary, come talk to us. Yeah, come I'm going to make you us. some tea and cupcakes. Okay. <laughs> Emily's brought me some cupcakes in before recording. Happy birthday! <laughs> uh, yes, it is my birthday next next week. So, um, But thank you very much for the for the cupcakes and thank you very much for the for the wine, Gary V. Um, you can send me some wine as well too if you mm -hmm. want. But thank you very much, <laughs> much for that, and uh, I really do appreciate it. and my USB card as well. We uh, okay. So I also have to add something. Some of my students are very, very shy, and probably a lot of people out there are incredibly shy. <clears throat> and yes, they don't want negative feedback. So there is a way around it. People just don't shoot your face. Shoot angle camera slightly below just the voice if you don't want any publicity but make your channel live straight away uh, sometimes there will be negative feedback and it will help you overcome uh, possible negative feedback in real life so it's kind of like easing yourself into cold water it's great any feedback is, gr is great yes. because some people will be right and provide something interesting and constructive others will be just angry just you know picking their nose noise scratching their butt and just being there being trolls and trying to put down others to bring them to their level so you will be able to in a safe environment you will be able to learn how to distinguish trolls from constructive people from supportive people um, and whenever you do something right, a lot of people will start noticing mm. it. Yep. Um, I personally follow a few channels, both on YouTube and Instagram, of people learning something. Some of them yep. learn to draw, others learn to play a ukulele or a guitar or singing. Um, and it's very, it is actually a very interesting content for other people to watch. It's yep. inspiring to see. Uh, we actually, we actually had a, a girl, uh, Christine Warren, I think her name was, and, and she shot some videos of herself using the on our online course, the Ultimate Online Singing Course. Mm -hmm. There's another plug right there. But she uh, recorded herself weekly, like did a video journal of that, and then and then I asked her to send me that, and it was it was amazing. I think she did it for about fifteen weeks in a row. Oh my god! And it was great. It was absolutely fantastic. So we've got, the, and it wasn't long. She only recorded herself for five minutes a week just mm -hmm. to see her progress yeah. through the scales and what she'd been doing, mm -hmm. and uh, that was that was really really good. So yeah, guys, you can check that out as well too. Um, it'd be under some title, the Ultimate Online Singing Course, Christine Warren uh, Weekly Diary. I think it might be called. So. Yeah. It's out there. Exactly. <laughs> get browsing, get get clicking. It's forward, on, it, forward. It, it's on our YouTube channel. We actually, I should yeah. actually make. Uh, what do you what do you call them on YouTube? I've got to put them together. Uh, this is for uh, other a trailer. People. Not not a trailer. No. Uh, <laughs> when you're putting all of them together, and you're putting blocks of videos together. A playlist. Playlist. Oh, look at us all professionals. I've got to put, put, put a playlist together. But guys, you want to put a playlist together as well too. So it's something that I've got to do. I'm definitely going to be putting some playlists together with different scales that we have in our tutorials. 
higher scales, falsetto, beginner scales, and I'm going to put Christine Warren's uh, videos all in one there as well too. While I've interjected here rudely again, you can, guys, if you are really, really um, self-conscious and you don't want any comments, you can actually put a setting on YouTube only, it's not on Facebook, you can put a setting on YouTube where you can actually screen the comments before they go live mm -hmm. as well too. So you can- Or just yeah. disable them. But still you're gonna see them anyway. But I think, again, there are people that just troll out there just for the sake of being negative, they just, they're just negative. But even when people put a negative comment on one of our videos, if I think it's constructive, I'll always ask them, well, what didn't you like about this particular mm -hmm. falsetto uh, video that yeah. we had? What was your constructive feedback about it? Because I would mm -hmm. like to improve myself yeah. and our content. Mm -hmm. And most of them don't get back to me <laughs> when I say stuff like that. Some of them do, uh, most of them don't, and it's great when they do. And I say, well, look, sorry that we didn't, you didn't particularly like it. Thank you for mm -hmm. your feedback. I'll def definitely take that back on board. Some people come back with, with good constructive criticism. Um, sometimes, like even if even if somebody leaves a comment like, oh, I don't like this genre at all, um, it, it's a really good indication of. Uh, how what you do is not for every single person and that's normal that's okay like I like prog metal you know and musical theatre I'm not into R&B too much yep. <laughs> sorry uh, pro but technically like if a, a competent person leaves a comment on your voice on, on your technique um, and it looks like something interesting like they know what they're talking about go to their channel have a look Google, Google them up look them up um, it may be really helpful to just get in touch, yes, and um, ask for a little bit more feedback, with, like, ask a bit more questions, um, because sometimes it comes from a good place, you know, sometimes sometimes criticisms come, come from a good place. I don't do it very often and I prefer to, prefer to do it in private, but like this boy on Instagram, boy over 50, <laughs> who's learning to play an instrument, uh, I'm guessing because uh, they post only like the instrument and their hands. Um, yeah, uh, and they also started learning to sing as well. Uh, and they reached out and like literally just told them a couple of things that could improve them. So you may get some free advice, you guys, from professionals who just stumbled across your material. It's fantastic. <laughs> that. That's great. That's really, really good. That is as well, too. I have to say is stay open-minded with everything as well too. With the comments, everyone has an opinion, but definitely don't take it personally. Yeah. You can't you can't take it personally. I know it's really hard. You're going to get the first couple, and you're going to be infuriated, and you're going to be angry, and you're going to be sad, and whatever it is, you're going to type back. It'll probably take a couple of minutes to settle down, but you know everyone has their opinion, and you know definitely don't take any of the comments personally. Um, and you, you never know what that person's dealing with or, or the state of mind they may, may be in. But definitely don't take it personally, but you know, if you feel that you want to connect with them and say, hey, look, what didn't you like about it? How can you help me out with my singing here? What didn't you like about it? They might say, look, you might need to use your mouth a little bit more when you're singing, or your pitch was a little bit off. You need to work a little bit harder mm. on that then, as if, if they're doing that. What about <clears throat> the other side of this stick though? What about super excited and amazing comments like, Oh, it's a God's gift, you've got such a beautiful, unbelievable voice. What to do if it starts going into your head? <sighs> <laughs> you know, I've, I've, it's just personally with me, you know, one thing I don't, give a RS about what anyone thinks about me or but I also it's something that I've really had to learn to take on board in the last year where I've really that when I've been doing a lot of self-development myself because if anyone gave me a, a compliment I'd always just go no, no. they're just saying that to be nice I've always said that mm -hmm. but now I've actually said okay well, thank you very much I really appreciate that if it's genuine and you know when it's genuine mm -hmm. especially if it's face to face so I've had a hard time understanding that comment of, of, of getting a, a compliment back and it's been something that I've really had to open up and accept when people have given me uh, compliments because I'll normally just flog them off. 
a lot of people will say stuff to be polite as well too. But and then again, I think, and especially with myself and this, I think in life, this is just my point of view. I'm never, I think you can never get complacent. You know, it doesn't matter how much success you've got, you've always got to stay humble mm -hmm. and you've got to stay hungry because the wolf, the wolves are coming. They're, they're beating at the door, they are. And if you stand still, it's the same with us. We're, you've come up with some amazing innovations. That's why you've won uh, Teacher of the Month uh, twice this year because of your innovations. Thank that was one of the main reasons, but because you're a bloody great teacher as well too. Um, so you've always got to innovate and you've got to keep on striving and moving forward. And it's great that people are, are saying this, but and you look at anyone that's gained success, talking Will Smith, Michael Jackson, I'm sure a lot of these people said that, you know, you're a great singer, rah, 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 but they kept on striving for greatness as well too. So don't let it get in your head. Definitely celebrate your victories. Undoubtedly celebrate your victories. Not for too long though. So that's great. It's great that that person commented. Mm -hmm. And that should be driving you to be even better or keep that standard up. Don't don't get complacent because someone's gonna someone's at that same time they're recording a video of themselves and putting it up on YouTube and they go well this person got this comment I'm gonna try to do this better so I would admit that there's always people that are working harder than you you know I know that we email ourselves sometimes at silly times of the day like three o'clock four o'clock five o'clock in the morning and you know sometimes I'm thinking on a Friday night man maybe maybe my competition is working now I say that. Maybe I shouldn't go out. Maybe I should be working. That's my point of view. Well, here's another point that I want to bring bring up. We have fundamentally different views on a couple of things. And I feel like this is exactly the reason why we kind of team so well Which together. Which right. Yeah. We're like brother and sister. <laughs> I've never had a sister, but like, I love you to death, but a lot of times we don't see eye and we, we fight like cats and dogs. But then we just go, okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah, maybe there's something let's, let's something in there. Yeah. Which so, is great. That's why I've got you doing this. <laughs> so you talk a lot about competition. Competition and <clears throat> success and like uh, different things are, are very important for you. I'm very driven though. Yeah. That's, that's me. So what's important for me in the singing environment is not competition, but support. The community yeah, yeah, of it. Yeah. Singers are amazing. Uh, today I've had an online lesson with a girl in Canada, yep. Jinyu, and yeah, I just threw it out um, a story about how last week, last week I've had a new student, young girl, who was singing in one of the Indian dialects, and probably now I need to go and learn how to sing classical Indian style in yep. one week, <laughs> so I can start teaching her. Big over there, yeah. big over in India. Yeah. Massive. And Jinyu and Jinyu helped me so much. She was, oh, can you send me a link? Which song did she sing? So I sent her a link. And she talked me through, okay, this is a Bengali dialect. This is a northern style. The differences are rah rah rah. Yeah. And then, then she sent me a couple of very helpful links yeah. when uh, talking about, um, I will probably totally but butcher the word g Ganakas? G Gantakas? Ganakas? Um, I will look it up. Um, and put it in the description. Yep. Um, it's a type of ornamentation in Indian classical singing yep. and turns out it has so much in common with with the contemporary singing that we teach. There is a lot of sliding between the notes, not a lot of holding the notes, but in the melody you're supposed to kind of drift in a different patterns up yep. or down, which is fantastic. And right literally in the video that a person was demonstrated, demonstrating, I would pause it and try and repeat it straight yeah. away. This is, guys, if you're watching any kind of tutorials, uh, don't just watch it, use it. Yeah. Because now I feel confident that we'll be able to teach this nine-year-old girl who likes Bengali songs, uh, maybe not to, the, uh, not to the level that she will be able to uh, saying that she's a classically trained Indian singer, but to a really good understanding of it, maybe then she will go on and find a proper teacher who is more specialized. So, and let's this, so just sort of talking about the help in the community around. <laughs> With that, that's very similar to the way that we break down songs. We use yeah. them as a soundboard. We repeat what they do, and then once they've got the song basically, then we go with the backing track. 
Yes, undoubtedly. I think the the singing community, oh, I can only talk for Melbourne, is very supportive here in Melbourne. It is. And even the genres, the pop, the rock, everyone seems to be working together and they're, they're, they're all friends. There's no like, we want to do this, that and the other. Everyone wants to support someone else. So it is. And you can see, and even the way that we, I have... Lots of people come up after I shoot a concert and go, no, that was really great. It's really supportive, fun environment. Yeah. It's not a competition. It's about people getting up and getting experience and everyone's supportive of everyone else there. And, um, you know, I go and have a chat to every performer that performs at our... I personally go and chat to... I try to chat to every single performer that's performed at our student concerts and, you know, maybe give them a tip or say, you know, try to do this or say, that was just fantastic. Or, you need to go out and do some more performing or start writing or whatever it is. I know I pulled up a lot of your younger students and it's very hard to gauge how old people are these days. You should start songwriting. And how old are you? 11. Good. Lady Gaga started when she was 13 or 14. It's time you start now. Let's get two years on the head of Lady Gaga. So um, I, think it, I think it is very good to be supportive as, as well too. Definitely with that. And it's great if you're getting, um, I think a good idea as well too is, is to jump on to Facebook as well too. You've got to have a YouTube channel, a Facebook channel, in the future possibly a, a website. You can put your websites here very quickly now these days. Links to SoundCloud, photos, videos, looks great, easily done. <clears throat> on Facebook guys, join communities. Uh, Melbourne Musicians is, yep. is one that we've got here. There's numerous uh, just just look up singing or whatever it is, join the communities there as well too that are going to help you out, support you, find people. Mm -hmm. um, I know Mark Gardner, just a, a shout out to Mark Gardner, is always um, pl plugging us. Um, uh, uh, there, uh, there's someone else that's always plugging me as well too. Geo's always plugging me on there. Uh, Jenny Powell from the Riff Raiders. Thank you very much, Jenny. You're all, there's always people putting, looking for s singing lessons these people are always referring us, mm -hmm. so just want to shut them back. The Riff Raiders, check them out. Oh, okay, cool. <clears throat> um, I also wanted to add a little bit about how all kinds of people are important and how, how you should be playing to your strength. If you are a competitive person in general, go and find competitions. Look up competitions on Facebook, on YouTube. Uh, most, most singing competitions have a lot of uh, social media presence, so you will yeah. be able to find it that way. If you are a person who's who's not into competitions and you want just just the community and support, yes, join other choir. Uh, uh, yeah, join a choir. This is great. Theater, um, amateur theater, and, mm -hmm. and you can even say, look, I don't want to be in the cast. I want to be in the in the chorus. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't want to be a lead singer, so these are all, all good leadings that you, yeah. that you can go and do. So there are lots of groups, like this a cappella groups church choirs, um, there's lots of things if you're a hobby singer as well too yeah. that are just fun to do. You know, singing's got to be fun, keep it fun, don't put stress on yourself, but that's the same thing as well too, yes, definitely. Yeah, so there is no wrong or right approach, uh, choose what's right for you. Go into, go to the light, where you see the light that's for you, go there. <laughs> The, the good thing about singing, I think, is that there's so many avenues and it doesn't matter where you are or what you want to do, whether you want to be a professional singer or just a hobby, sing in the shower. There's, there's that, whole, that whole spectrum and there's everything in between. If, you want to, you don't, you want to, if you've upgraded from being a shower singer, you can go and join a choir or you can be a backing singer in a band or you can go and do chorus in a theatre company. Um, if you want to take it further, you can go and do open mic nights uh, for something less professional. If you want to take it further than that, you can go and do competition, write your own songs, send it out to records, whatever it is that you want to do. The main thing is, though, getting back to social media, is put content out there if you want to. I think it's very important that you promote yourself if you, if you want to get out there. Question, Peter. What do introverted... How, how, how do you battle through this... Uh, denial of social media if you are an introverted person. I know that I am. On my Instagram, guys, you will find only my students, my cats, and my knitting. That's it. There's nothing else. You know, I can, <laughs> this is society now these days, and you have to embrace technology and social media. Okay? You have to. 
when I was young, I finished, we finished, when I was at primary school, I used to go home, I used to jump my bike and ride up and down the street so with my mates are there. If they weren't there, I'd go back home and throw the ball, the ball against the wall. That's what we did in the 70s. Now, the kids, they're more social than what they used to be. They're finding what their mates are, but they're just doing it in a different form. Yeah. You have to embrace it. You do, okay? Um, that's just that's just what, what it is. And, and you can just put a, a little post. You don't have to be huge. I'm saying if you want to put yourself out there as an artist, you know, an, an up-and-coming artist, the more that you do, the, the better it will be. Okay, Peter, talk me through this. Full disclaimer, I don't have a YouTube channel. Convince me to get one. I'm still not convinced. I still feel like it's a little bit... Again, this is, if, this is if you want to promote yourself. Do you know what I mean? And that's what a YouTube channel is about. It's about, it's about promote. Any social media is about self-recognition. If you don't want to promote yourself, don't do it. Don't do any of this. But if you feel that, yeah, look, I, I want to um, audition for amateur theatre. I want to start writing songs. I want to join a cover band. Um, you know... People, I'm sorry I'm getting off the track here, but with auditions these days, the first step of auditions these days aren't in a rehearsal studio yep. anymore. It's send me yep. some links yep. of you recording. Show me what you got. And even better, live. Because you know, links that are recorded can be auto tuned, all sorts of stuff. So people want to see it live. So that's what the first audition part is on all auditions, whether you're a drummer, bass player, singer, it doesn't matter if you're auditioning for a man. So it's a good way to do that. But it, as I said, it, it is really if you want to promote yourself or show your skills off. That's what it is. I think if you've got any skill in anything, put it on YouTube. Whether it's baking cakes, whether it's knitting, um, I'm talking about things that you like here now, mm -hmm. singing, put it on YouTube. Because you can always help someone. So that's my point of view with it. If you've got a skill or a passion in something, don't hide it. Put it out there on YouTube, whatever that it is. It doesn't need to be singing. Could be, it could be whatever it is. Because mm -hmm. you know, if you help one person and make the world a better place, you've done a great thing. Uh, there's a beautiful piano player, um, Valentina Lisitsa, and she ha she's a classical classical pianist, and she literally would just live stream on YouTube for hours and hours of herself practicing from just starting to break down the piece and who'd have thought that it's a fascinating watch to see how how a musician starts from not knowing the piece at all how they start reading the music how they start learning the fingering and these these live processes are the most interesting part of anything you know you can hire a company and make yourself a video with with you with your backup dancers like shaking booties in the, in the camera um, but to actually see a process of how yep. much dedication and work it takes it it helps others yep document everything it's basically what we're doing here now you know this week's been a difficult week <laughs> but once you know, we get everything set up with what we're doing with Vox Singing Academy. We're going to be going on a, on a big social media campaign. And we're going to be documenting lots of things. What we drink, diet, different things like that. Uh, the green tea, Japanese, don't know the brand. It's in a bag. It's awesome. Let's, let's, that, that green tea is amazing. It doesn't say the brand on there. Uh, we, should, we should plug them because they might send us some green tea. Can you please plug that green tea? Ito N. Ito N. I T O E N. It's the best green tea that they have at Woolies. So maybe <laughs> maybe Woolies you give me some gift. But that is the best. It's it's the most expensive, but it's the best Japanese green tea that I can get. It's amazing. Thank you for splurging with me. <laughs> Only the best for all my guests. <laughs> we can bring out the scotch later on, but you don't drink, so. Oh. I don't drink either, especially not scotch, not the not 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 the devil's the devil's drink. Now. Going back, well, I've just lost track, but anyway, so no, what I was going to talk about is exactly what your, the penis was there. That's exactly what we're doing here. So people are going to see us in the incubus stage doing these video podcasts, and they're going to be very rough and raw, but they're going to see us grow and, and get better at doing this. So basically, just document 
everything because you could help someone out they might learn something from the video of what you what you've said I know that I've re listened to and, and watched video podcasts and I've listened to it three times and I picked up something different or I was in a different mind state and I go oh wow I didn't hear that last time I'm going to apply that this time so audiobooks I reread audiobooks and I've gone Wow, I remember reading the, the Power of Now by Urquhart Toll years ago, reading it, and then getting the audio book and going, Oh my god, I get it now. <laughs> Thank you for reading it to me, Urquhart. So um, I think yeah, I think just you know, document, put it out there, have some fun. If you don't want to put too much out there, don't put too much out there. But I think it's very important that everyone goes onto social media, especially if you're starting off YouTube channel, Facebook channel. In the future a website as well too if you want to promote yourself it's very very important don't worry about the naysayers um, there are going to be a lot of people out there that are just going to say stuff for the sake of being negative that's fine sometimes someone will have constructive feedback and that's great you might want to liaise with them and say well, what can I improve what didn't you like about this you might get some good feedback yeah. about it that's going to help you out because a lot of people as well too, you know, a lot of people sometimes don't say anything as well too. I don't. I've never commented a negative post on anyone's posts out there and any of my friends will, will vouch for that. Not once, never. I don't do it. It pollutes my beautiful space and I just don't do it. I'll only write in my face and when I pay you for it. Yes. <laughs> if it's... If it's no, business yeah. is a different thing. Do you know what I mean? Business mm -hmm. puts boxing and he puts food on your table and my table, mm -hmm. and it's and it's a very serious game that we play here. So we want to make sure that everything's done properly, and we work off each other. We're trying. Ultimately, I don't take any offence about what you say or what anyone else says. I take it all on board and say, is this going to make Vox Senior County the best that it can? And it's great that people are pushing us. You know, it's great that you're pushing. It's great that you're the the number. I was going to say the number. Let's just say it, you're the number one now. Well, yes, you are. You're the highest grossing senior teacher that we have at the moment, and you're pushing me. Do you know what I mean? You're you're. Again, not a competition. It's not a competition, <laughs> but it's great to have you, as successful as you are, at Vox Senior Academy, being the, the busiest teacher that we have, pushing me. I'm going to have to, go, I'm going to, have to lift my standard because Emily's on my tail. It's not a competition. This is me. This is me. Okay. I just want to reiterate that being on anybody's tail is not my goal. I've never said that you were. <laughs> this is a, this is my this is how I this drive is my your success. This is motivation. This yes. is how I drive so, my success. Do so you know? go. This is going back to our discussion about what your strengths and motivations are, and what what drives you in life. Yeah. Work work with your strengths definitely. I always say that if you're a great singer, sing. If you're better at songwriting, write songs. Get someone else to sing. If you're terrible at boys, get help. Yes. <laughs> but the whole thing is, is the good thing with singing is everyone's got a voice. If you can speak, you can sing. Yeah. And love your voice, even if it's small. There are people out there with small ranges that have got the National. Have you heard of the National? Yeah. All right, check them out. Okay. Guys, check the National out. Amazing. Fantastic songwriters. Very small range. Fantastic. Great singers. Johnny Cash didn't have a big range. Amazing mm. singer. Okay. Uh, do the best with what you've got. Really, that, that's 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 what it is. Yeah. Awesome. Let's yeah. do the best with what we've got. Yes, <laughs> guys. I hope that we've helped you out. Um, and we'll discuss what we're going to talk about next week. Normally, yes. We'll, but we're just going to fly again, and hopefully, we've we've given you some some useful information. Again, if you like the channel, subscribe, like us, comments down below. If we answer one of your questions, we're going to mention your name here live in our podcast, and you will get a free lesson with one of our fantastic teachers or myself. Yes. Signing high off. High five. High five. Have a great <laughs> weekend, guys. Much love. Bye bye. Bye.